Looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins? Look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over the 50 reveal and, of course, what to do first in the most feared promo guys a few things that i think are very important to get done during most feared as well as the 50 did just drop now guys there are some server difficulties going on for a lot of you guys that can't get in including myself it's really frustrating right now i understand but i'm gonna show you guys the stats of the cards go over all the behind this card stats get what i can get done and then go over what to do first as well now for all you guys who can't get in i know it sucks same thing last year i don't know what it is but last year on most feared as well got pushed back to the regular date because of course we did have server malfunctioning that day as well just always been always been something when it comes to uh, most fear for some reason. But guys, for today's Poodle Squad shout out, shout out to John Harris. Shout out to me for being part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you so much for showing support. If you guys want your own chance to be shouted out, like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and of course, go down below and like the video as well. Now, if you guys haven't already, you guys want some coins to pick up these new 50 players or pick up some of the most feared players, head on down below to MuttReserve.com. Take advantage of the recently discounted kind of coins. Use code Poodle 50% off your order. Now, let's head on over. I'm going to start with... I'm going to start with the um, what to do first, and I'm going to get over to the 50 uh, cards right after that. Yeah, so, of course, the first thing you want to be focusing on is going to be collecting your potions and playing your solos. Now, as you guys do know, this is a four-part promo, so you can only collect a certain amount up to an extent. So, as you guys do know, this does go up to past 300 stars, but you can only get up to a certain amount of stars for the first one. So, make sure you're playing up to that point for now, because, again, like I always say, if you wait till part four to get these all done, of course, they do last on November 7th. If you do wait that long, you're going to be stuck playing 300 plus stars with the solos in a few days. If you wait all the way up to the last few days or the last week. So make sure you're getting them knocked out early. Play them as the parts unleash. Connect, uh, collect as much as you can. Because remember, this does lead onto your free 90 overall Cameron Jordan. As well as as you play this, you do get some other free elite players which you can use in conjunction with the set video I'm going to make later. So make sure you're checking that out later as well. But you want to be collecting those free players. Do not sell them yet. Do not quick sell them. You could have use for them as well. Or if you want the treats for them, you can also take that and reroll that. But definitely be getting your potions early on. There's plenty of use for them. Now, you can do this through Escape from Castle Jake inside for the potions. There's also Boneyard Brawl, which you're going to want to be playing to get some free players as well. I believe that's also what can um, helps you get your free 90 overall, like the Thielen. So make sure you're going to play those as well. But start with Jake inside, get your potions up, as well as get the Boneyard Brawl done. Once you get to where you can with those, then you can start focusing on the other live stuff. Now, again, the solos do last longer than maybe, like, per se, house rules. So if you want to focus on those first, we can go over that as well. But. The house rules rewards uh, are decent. I'll go over what the use for them really is for me. But for now, focus on the solos first. Once you get in, log in, play your solos. Knock those all out. Once your solos are done, we can focus on the other stuff. And they shouldn't take that long, quite honestly. But let's move on to the other thing. The total reward breakdown from yesterday's stream, guys, if you didn't know. So this is what you're working for here in Escape from Castle Jenkinstein. You get three nat 83 to 87s, six 81, to, uh, 81 overalls, four 79s, and then 13, 13, and 12 potions right there. Now, here's the thing. Those 83 to 87s, if you, if you hit big and get an 85 or an 87, you can put them into the set to collect the master. So make sure you're getting these done. This can make the master set so profitable or just cheap for you in general and get you some free players as well. The point of emphasis here is that I'm going to be making a video going over this later. Now, to get a master, you do get a free player from here as well as you could potentially get these two from the solos. So that's why I say do the solos first because if you don't do the solos first, you don't know what players you're going to get. So if you get lucky, you get this one. And maybe you get one of those potentially if it's available yet or again, even later on. Once they do drop, even then, I would recommend getting that done first before you get the master set because you can potentially go ahead and get a super cheap, let's say you get him for free, you end up pulling two of these out of those packs or something, or you pull it out from a regular pack, now all you need is one player and you have a master, and you get two of them back now. So that's why I say I recommend you check first and see what actually comes out and what you get out of those packs before you go ahead and make it, um, you know, make it happen and go ahead with that. And then of course, once you're done with that, guys, you want to be focusing on the new house rule, Turnover Terror. Now again, here's why. Get spooky with Haunted House Rules, score as many woods as possible, and earn a nat 85 overall Scary Sharp player. Now, the thing is, the Scary Sharp player is an 85 overall, which I'm pretty sure you can put into that set. So, if you can put the 85 overall into that set, plus the free 90, plus potentially an 87, it, again, it could be super cheap to go ahead and get that set done. That's why I'm telling you guys, you get a guaranteed 85, I know that for a fact. So, that's why you want to get this done, and then you also get some trophies and coins out of it. So, I recommend you go into play this. Very quick and easy, uh, an interception, or I believe a fumble is an instant win. So that, that is very, very simple to do. I'm just saying, so this, this is my this is my follow-up again. Go get those solos done, collect your potions, collect your treats, collect your free players. Once you're done with that, head to over to the house because again, these are timed as well as they're limited. So make sure you get those done as well. Once you're done with all of that, you can then focus on getting some master sets done and being immersive and then going back to playing on your weekend league this weekend and so on and so forth. But 
Highly recommend you get that done first. Again, solos, both of them. As much as you can get done for part one, then go play the house rules, which will give you plenty of time to get that done. And then when part two drops, you can go back to the solos. But that kind of wraps up that aspect of the what to do first, because for the most part, that's really what I cared about. Now you could go ahead into the packs and stuff and the rerolls. They patched the rerolls already, guys, by the way. I do want to mention that it did patch the rerolls. So this morning there was a very glitchy reroll for 350 treats that people were just making tons of free treats on, tons of free coins on it. EA patched it within like 45 minutes. They move quick when it affects their pockets. And that's just the truth of the matter. But I wanted to go over that. So, guys, follow this, get this stuff done, get ahead, play ahead of this. And then once you're done with all that, again, you can look into that rural stuff if you want. It's over already. We can look into the regular one if you feel like you're, you're, you're a gambler. But that's it for that, guys, the aspect of the what to do first. Now let's go check out some of the other stuff. Again, that's pretty much all that's immersive right now for you to be doing is those two solo sequences. And you can build this with treats as well if you want for later on. Now the thing is, Khalil Mack and all those guys were super cheap before. So, you know, if you sniped any of those out, good for you. Wait till later. Things should come back up. The, uh, the reroll was lower in prices. So, again, if that, that goes back up, you can resell things for a pretty decent profit. But now that the market's settled, I feel like I can really go through and make some more videos on this now. But better for that, let's check out the new 50 players for this week because one of them is a banger. Let's go through these real quick. We've got Ladanian Tomlinson. I want to start with him, guys. This is a banger one. Ladanian Tomlinson is going to be so much fun to play with. Let's refresh this page, see what his price is at, although the servers are down 410k. I don't know who's on there selling these, but good for you, man, if you can get on there. Check out his stats. 91 speed, 92 excel, 92 agility, 92 jumping, 75 trucking, 92 change of direction, 89 ball carry vision, 91 stiff arm, 85 spin move, 90 juke move. 89 carrying, 89 break tackle, 80 catching, which is super good, 81 short route running. That's really good. I do want to compare him real quick to Barry Sanders. I know a lot of you guys are probably curious to see what that's going to actually look like. So let's compare this real quick. So speed-wise, same. Strength better on Ladanian Thompson. Two less agility, two less change of direction, two less excel. Uh, one more one more awareness for LT. Six better catching, way better jumping, which is really good for you know his catching prospects. Stamina almost identical. Now, trucking is going to be better. Break tackle is going to be lower than Barry. Ball carry vision is going to be lower. Stiff arm is better by a lot, which is important. Spin moves lower. Juke's lower. Carrying is better. Uh, short running is way better. Let's see anything of importance here. The catching, of course, is super important. Now, that's pretty much it. So, if you guys power him up and chem him up, Ladini Thompson is still going to be a slight smidgen below Barry. But he's going to have better He's gonna have better speed, which is pretty important. I mean, better speed is going to be kind of like... Kind of like Bo Jackson athleticism, but he's going to have way better catching, not as big and not as bulky, and he's going to be a, a good juker. Kind of like a budgety version of Barry, but again, LT is going to be fun to play with. But let's move on to the other two. Now we got um, Orlando Pace right here. New left tackle. Not much to check out here. We saw the stats from earlier. You guys probably saw those, but you can see him here. Uh, his impact blocking is a 90. Lead blocking is an 86. So again, if you power up and chem up, he's going to be a great impact blocker. going to be a great blocker in general. The run blocker lacks a little bit, but again, if you power him up and get zone run, he's still going to be really good. Good excel. And of course, the lead block's a bit low, but he is a tackle, so I'm not too concerned about that. And then for our final one, which should be Javon Curse, who we do want to actually see some of these stats here. So 87 speed, 91 excel is kind of the selling point of this card, as well as the 91 finesse move. Now, it's starting to be great. Now, the block shot's kind of low, in my opinion. I mean, you could probably get it up with run stuff and power it up and everything, but... Still kind of a stretch, but if you can get everything up with just pass rush, guys, he's going to end up with like a 96 finesse move, 88 speed, 92 excel. Going to be super glitchy like Julius Peppers. Again, my favorite of this drop is Ladanian Thompson. Actually looking very forward to playing with him as soon as I can actually get into this dumb game and go ahead and play, guys. But that's about it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. What to do first? 50, kept it nice and brief. Fit it all into one video for you guys so you guys can go ahead and enjoy that. Hopefully, this does find you guys well today. Hopefully, it is helpful. One more video for you guys today, but if you guys want to see it, smash the like button on this video. Let's get 50 likes on this video. Comment down below, Poodle Squad. Like the video, of course, and turn on the noti bell. I'm going to be shouted out in the next Poodle Squad. And guys, better for that. Thanks so much for watching. If you need coins for any of these players or the new most feared stuff, hit up Mutt Reserve. You can grab, probably buy some currency on there, buy some training, go buy some players on there. Enjoy. Use code Poodle50 to up the order. I'm out. Peace.